Hey guys, we are here for another episode of Straight Talk. Today's subject uh, of conversation, random thoughts, craziness from my brain, whatever you want to call it, is the power of words. So if you've been following my channel and my art for a while, then you know that words show up more often than not in my art. And if there's no actual words, there's implied words by the image. Um, but I have one of my journals in front of me because I've been working on it. And I don't think there's a single page in here that doesn't have words on it. I think every single page, oops, has some, and most of these have been on YouTube, words on there somewhere. You get the idea. I love to use words in my work. I love to convey a message, a thought, a feeling. Um, words really have power. Um, there's power in your words, power in the written word, power in the spoken, spoken word. They can build up and create, encourage. They can also hurt and destroy um, very easily. The written word especially can be very easily misconstrued. It's much harder to misconstrue the spoken word. Both should be used with more caution more often than not by most people I know, myself included. Um, you know, I remember when my daughter was growing up, she would have, you know, text message disagreements with this person or that person. And I said, well, have you talked to them? Well, yeah, you know, I just got a text from her. I said, no, no, have you talked to them, spoken to them? called them, gone to see them in person. Um, the feelings that can be conveyed in the written word are sometimes um, not necessarily what the person who wrote it intended. Um, I know for me, you know, I do a lot of writing every week for the for Facebook and the Facebook groups and um, in a, a lot of other things and I often there are times when I write something and then you know publish it and somebody comes back and makes a comment I'm like huh yeah I didn't see that when I wrote it I see it now um, it's especially happened with a couple of the paper clips that I do that little art paper clips and uh, most of those have words on them and there's been messages conveyed on that those that were unintended, but the message was definitely there. It wasn't the one I intended, but there is definitely that message there and it could be perceived that way, definitely. And I try so hard to take care with my words, to mind my words, to make sure that my words aren't hurtful and that they're caring, and I still screw it up. There are so many people out there that don't even try, that don't care, that intentionally use their words for harm and to hurt. I just don't understand it and I don't have patience for it. And I, it's baffling to me. So I just don't get it and the longer I'm on this planet, the more I don't get it, and the more I don't understand it. And I really would hope that more people, artists especially, would use their words mindfully, that would use their work to convey a message, um, a productive message, a message of kindness and growth, a message of love and caring. Um, and if there's a... message that needs to be said that's not comfortable there's always a way to do it that is less hurtful than another way um, I talked earlier earlier 
in the last episode about labels, it came up briefly. I really detest labels. Again, we go back to the power of words. Most of the time when you label people, especially a certain thing by race or religion or um, nationality or belief or lifestyle, you're labeling them. It, it's to hurt. It's not to help. And why do we care what somebody does in their church? What color their skin is? What they do behind closed doors? That's none of my business. As long as they're good, kind people and they're being good and kind to themselves and everyone else around them, I don't care. I don't like, la I really, tell I can't even, I, I could go an hour for, I hate labels. Um, and you know, the right now the thing is to label everything. And while I understand for some groups of people because they really have been ignored and neglected and they need to stand up and be proud of who they are and say, this is me and I own this and this is who I am and I'm proud of them for doing that. But there is a lot of society that they're using the labeling in a negative, hurtful way. That I'm not okay with. If it's being used in a caring, kind, progressive uh, path of growth, totally cool with it. If it's being used in a hurtful way, I'm not cool with that. And most people, they use it for hurt. And I'm not good with that. I really... There's enough of that in life, and I personally don't need to make it worse than it already is. I don't have patience for it. Um, I've had people come in and out of my life that that is their priority, is to just be miserable and make everybody else around them miserable. They use their words in a hurtful manner, and when things don't exactly go their way, they drop you like a hot potato. I'm not okay that with that. Life is messy and hard and hurtful. We don't need to make it extra hurtful. And by the same token, I am going to express my words of frustration in a healthy way for me, which for me is art and journaling. For somebody else, it might be something different. Maybe you're a photographer and you want to express your words and your feelings about life with your photography. Um, maybe you, you're a writer. Maybe you wanna just keep a journal. There's nothing, whatever your venue is, use your words wisely, use them with care and kindness. Express your words, even the ones of anger and frustration in a healthy manner. And by that I mean specifically, it's more healthy to express the words, to put them out, whether it's in art or it's in writing or it's in journaling or it's in seeing a therapist than it is to go drinking, doing drugs, abusing yourself, yes? That's not helpful and that's not productive and that's not gonna solve anything. Those hurtful words are still gonna be there when you're done. Anyway, the power of words. It's a really strong topic. I am thinking about having a couple of ladies in particular that I can think of, my sister Elizabeth being one of them, ha having her come in on one of these straight talk discussions, uh, maybe on the power of words, maybe on something else. Um, what do you all think about that? Um, what do you think about the power of words and are you able to use your words in a way that you're happy with? Whether it's expressing them in your art it's expressing them in a journal, in photography, speaking them with thought and care, not just spewing them out of your mouth without thinking, which is something I've been guilty of, especially when I was younger. Really trying hard not to do that. Um, because like I said before, words are powerful. They can convey a story. They can convey an emotion. They can create. They can express love and kindness, care and consideration. They can also express hate and evil, anger, sadness, and destroy so easily. I wish more people in life would take care with their words and mind their words. 
some of the best people I know in life and that I'm some I'm related to, their words are hurtful. And they're not going to change though. There's nothing I can say to them that's going to make them realize how hurtful their words are and how upset they make me. I've chosen to let it go, to not put myself in a position unless necessary where I have to be exposed to those words. Some of the people in particular, I can't, I can't cut them off completely. I'm related to some of them. I'm going to put that out there. Um, but I can take care, caution, and consideration with their words. And I can be more circumspect about the words that come out of my mouth and how I respond. Just because somebody fires off hurtful words to me doesn't mean I need to be responding kind. They're entitled to their opinion. They shouldn't maybe state it that way, but they're entitled to their opinion. I'm also entitled to mine, but I don't need to inflict it on the planet. So anyway, the power of words. Let me know what you think about the power of words in the comments below. Do you use words in your art? Um, I'm assuming if you're watching my channel, you are also um, liking to do art and crafts and DIY. Do you use words in your art? Do you think you use them effectively um, to tell your story and to convey your messages? And if you don't, how do you think maybe that you can change that? I'd love to know. Leave it something in the comments below. You're also welcome to start a conversation over in my Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression. We'd love to have you. And what do you think about having a pre-recorded conversation with a group of lady and the power of words? What do you also think about having a live straight talk here on YouTube? I haven't done a live in a long time. I'd need to brush up on it, putting that out there. Um, things have changed, but what do you think about that? Let me know in the comments below. Check out the video description for all kinds of social media links, ways to support the free content here on YouTube and over uh, in the Facebook art groups, including Patreon, a YouTube membership, my Etsy shop, and all that stuff. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, go out and have a great day. Use your words with care and consideration. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.